Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for September 6th, 2024. Pretty sure it's the 6th anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. <clears throat> Just take what does resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else to appreciate. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? Alright, Sagittarius, let's see what spirit has for you today. I'm going to take a second to go ahead and say thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated, and it does help out the channel. Thank you all so much, okay? We are on our way to 10,000. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We already got two pop-outs here for the present situation. I'm going to pull one card for the past and one for the future, and then we're going to start in the middle and go back and forward, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. King of Cups in the past and the reversal and the Page of Pentacles in the upright in the future. Okay, I'm kind of digging it. I like it. So far, so good. Okay. Okay. All right, let's look at the present situation. You have the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. Okay, so definitely showing up in a very powerful position in your present situation here, Sagittarius. Showing up as the Queen of Wands, which is someone that can own their space with confidence, okay? Someone that, um, <clears throat> this is like also a card of learning as you go. So you could be doing something new, possibly Sagittarius, and kind of like learning at, as you go. The Queen of Wands is the only queen without a salamander on the card, okay? Which means that she's at risk of being burned, which is kind of like doing something new. You're not sure exactly how it's going to work out yet or how you're going to do it, but you are on um, on the right path. You are doing it. It's kind of crazy. You have four cards on the table, and, and they're all court cards. So I want to say something about this situation. Um, it's something about the people around you, but let's let's uh, keep moving, okay? You have the Page of Wands, so this could give me two different things here, Sagittarius. Either... You are taking action towards your goals, or you might have like a younger person around you that is taking action towards their goals. The reason that I say it could be you or someone else is because it's a um, page, okay, which is someone that is younger. And then you have the Queen of Wands, which gives me the indication that it is uh, someone younger than you. Uh, but also, if it is you here, Sagittarius, you could be doing something that like really is healing your inner child, something that is like um, beneficial for you to do, but also something that makes you happy, okay? Um, if it is someone younger than you, it could possibly be a fire sign. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, maybe, but it doesn't have to be. Let's clarify further for Sagittarius in the present. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Is the juice worth the squeeze? You're wondering something here, Sagittarius. You're wondering if it is worth putting more energy or effort into. Okay, you have something that you have kind of built here. You put a lot of time, energy, and effort into it. And you're wondering, is something worth it? Is, it, is the juice worth the squeeze here? Okay, what else for Sagittarius? What's going on here? Strength card in the reversal. This is Leo energy. So this is telling me that either you or someone that you're dealing with is kind of like weak over your energy. They're weak over you or they feel dominated by you or something to this nature here, Sagittarius. You're kind of wondering something here. This could also be like dominated by a substance, but I kind of feel like it's a person, okay? You have someone around you and you're wondering about putting more energy or effort into it because you're wondering if the juice is worth the squeeze and you feel dominated by their energy or they feel dominated by yours. Feel free to reverse the roles as needed, okay? Let's clarify the present situation for Sagittarius further, please. You have the Ace of Swords and the Reversal. This is quietly referred to as the real death card amongst professional readers, this could be a situation that someone's self-destructed from or like self-sabotage. Kind of another card of weakness as well. Someone's feeling weak over you or you're feeling weak over someone. So this situation with another person here, Sagittarius, could be a person that ha you've already ended a connection with this person or vice versa. You have the four of pentacles in the reversal. So clarification, you've already let this go or release this, okay? or vice versa. Someone's already released this, but you're still thinking about it. It's still on your mind here. It's still popping up because you're feeling weak over the energy or it's the other person feeling weak over you. It does kind of look like another person feeling weak over you unless you're dealing with a fire sign. 
if you're a younger person than a fire sign and they're like older than you, it could be that way, okay? Uh, someone's still thinking about the situation though, okay? You have the two of cups in the reversal. This could be a business partnership or a romantic connection. It's just kind of any type of relationship um, where there was an imbalance, something like had to end here or there was some kind of separation. It doesn't necessarily have to be love, but it very well could be, okay? There was some kind of separation going on here. Definitely a release and something that is dead done over with, but it's still playing in your mind. Something's still in your mind here. You have the two of wands in the reversal. Something that you weren't planning, bad planning or a complete lack of planning. Things not going at all according to plan. So this is something here that like a separation happened and it's something that you weren't really planning for. It's something that you weren't really planning to happen, but it still happened here. Uh, looks like the... The thought is still on your mind or the thought's still on the other person's mind though. Let's get one more card to bring it all together. Page of Pentacles, okay? Um, this is like taking action on your goals or um, that's kind of like the Page of Wands, but the Page of Pentacles is like focusing on those goals, okay? You have ideas, you have some kind of new opportunity that is coming in here. Maybe this separation led to an opportunity for you. I want to say for a small portion of you, this is a person that you have kids with since you have two pages here. I want to state that, but that's not going to be for everyone. Okay, or you have kids or the other person has kids here. Okay, yeah, you are taking taking action on your um, some kind of opportunity here now that you no longer have to be around this person. Okay, let's look at the past. In the past, you have the King of Cups in the reversal. So this is someone that is either emotionally manipulative or someone that is just unhappy with their life. Someone that kind of goes with the tide of their emotions. If they're happy they're happy if they're unhappy they're unhappy if they're angry they're angry and they don't really like try to regulate their emotions or get outside of it it's just kind of like they don't seem to be able to clarify the past for Sagittarius you have the okay you got two here you have the queen of cups in the reversal and the hangman in the upright okay so I want to say you know with the queen and the king of cups both in the reversal it's kind of like you and this person that is stuck in your energy here, Sagittarius. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It's kind of like bringing out the worst in each other, okay? You have the hangman in the reversal, which is kind of um, getting a new perspective on the whole situation in general. It's like you're still trying to stay positive or you're trying to keep a healthy mindset about it, but you can just see it for what it really is, is kind of what I'm getting with that, okay? Let me get one more for Sagittarius in the past. What is this? Knight of Wands, okay? Knight of Wands is like quick-paced, fast someone that um, acts very quickly or something is moving very quickly for you in your life you might be this knight of wands here okay i feel like that's why after a separation happens here for you in the past sagittarius it just goes really quick because you're kind of seeing it for what it is here you're getting a, a big picture okay um with the king and the queen of cups both in the reversal i, I want to say as well that if this is a relationship it's like both parties are unhappy in the connection okay Clarify the past for Sagittarius. You have the Nine of Pentacles. This is what you're looking for here, or this is the kind of person you are, where you don't really need another person anyway. You're kind of happy with your independence, or you are okay being independent. This is someone that is happy with the wealth that they do possess, whether it be a lot or a little. And this is someone that is happy with their passion for life. Okay, clarify the past for Sagittarius. Eight of Pentacles and the reversal. Something here clearly you can see is not working out, okay? Someone's feeling careless or someone's kind of like mean in the connection. You can also see someone as uninspired or vice versa. Definitely heavy Virgo energy here. You might be dealing with a Virgo or you might be a Virgo. Also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So basically all the signs, but <laughs> still. Okay, you have the moon in the reversal. This could be two things. It could be either deception that is revealed or it could be some kind of clarity that is being brought to this situation, okay? Realizing something, understanding something, seeing something. What else for Sagittarius? Eight of Wands. You have both of the fast-paced cards right here. This is also Sagittarius energy, okay? With the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands, it's like someone's moving on very quickly is what I get in here, okay? Someone's just kind of like leaving this behind, leaving this in the dust. So if this is you moving on quickly, someone's feeling kind of really left out or left behind by you, Sagittarius. If it is someone moving on from you, I would say that you're probably feeling a little like left behind or left in the dust, kind of like uh, five of pentacles energy, like kick to the curb, all right? Let me get one more to pull it all together. You have the ace of pentacles and the reversal. So someone feels that they have missed an opportunity with you, okay? Someone just feels like um, they're at a loss here. Someone feels like they missed a chance. Let's get a mystic red rose card to clarify the past situation for you, Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you clarify this past situation for Sagittarius, please? What's going on here? One, two, three, four. There we go. It says coffin. 
new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition and tragic endings. So yeah, I mean, it's, this is a very clear message for someone Sagittarius. Okay. I would say something here ended and a new beginning has started. So again, in the future, we have that page of pentacles in the upright position. This is a new opportunity, a new start. This is you focusing on your goals. It could also be good news. And I would say for some of you, it might be someone wanting to come towards you and offer something. Okay. Clarify this future situation for Sagittarius. So, but there's a weight or a burden on someone's shoulders. Okay, why is this? This is also um, Sagittarius energy. What is this weight or burden in the future? You have the Queen of Pentacles, focusing on your success, your abundance, okay, your family, possibly. Why is the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here? Holy Spirit and Holy Angels. You have the Two of Cups in the reversal. Someone has still not let go of a situation that ended already you have that two of cups reversed in the present okay um i would say sagittarius this might be some kind of cycle for you if it's not you it's definitely someone that you're dealing with okay someone's stuck in a cycle here about an ending to something it's still a weight or a burden on their shoulders there's still a new opportunity someone that's focusing on their wealth their abundance their success okay but this separation has not left the energy okay it's still showing up very strong in someone's energy clarify the future for sagittarius Four of Wands in the reversal. Very clear, very super clear message here throughout the entire reading, okay? Like an ending. Um, Four of Wands is like kind of like a maybe a couple or it could be like a friend or a family member that you kind of had a falling out with. This really random message, but it's coming through, so I need to read it for you. But this is also stating that someone needs to watch their finances, okay? Don't overspend at this time. Uh, but especially with the two pentacles cards on the... On the um, on the uh, table here. Sorry, I was like, what word am I using? What's going on here? Okay. Clarify the future for Sagittarius. You have the sun card. This is success, usually after struggle. This makes me feel like the prosperity without happiness card. Okay, one person is having success. One person has a new opportunity, focusing on their success, their abundance, their finances. Okay, the other person is still upset and having a hard time letting go of a connection that ended and it's like a weight or a burden on their shoulders. What else for Sagittarius? Queen of Wands in the reversal. Um, this is not going to be for everyone, but I want to say for some of you, it looks like you're the person having a hard time letting go of a connection. Okay, because Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy and you have the Queen of Wands in the reversal which is someone that's having a hard time taking action on their goals. It's like you're seeing someone move forward or take action on their goals, keep moving forward. It's like they're uh, getting the success after a struggle, okay? And you're just having a hard time here. If it's not you that's having a hard time, Sagittarius, you can know very, like, very for sure, okay, that it, it is another person having a hard time seeing you move on. You have the Five of Wands. Uh, there could be, this could be a person that you had arguments with or, uh, realize that you're on two different pages with it feels like the same person in the past over here for you Sagittarius but I feel like that's not going to be for everyone okay but maybe you're um, having like replaying an argument that happened in your head or maybe the person that you're dealing with is okay or maybe a person wants to come back in and try to work things out with you you could also I would say have someone that's in competition with you okay uh, someone's kind of trying to compete or something uh, you have Aries and Leo energy here. Okay, heavy Leo. Um, and then Sagittarius, Pis uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So maybe a Pisces for some of you because I just about said Pisces. Let's get one more to pull it all together. Ten of Cups in the reversal. It's someone that you separated from. For some of you, I guess if you're still with the person, it looks like you might be dealing with a separation here in the future. I just want to make that clear for someone. Okay, with that Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse, it's either someone that you've already separated from or someone that looks like you're going to be in separation from. Something is dissolving or dissipating or some kind of disunity here, all right? Again, someone feeling like a waste of time or effort, but let's get Big Bubba Mag to clarify some of the situation for you, Sagittarius, okay? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac, show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Show me that Sagittarius energy. If this reading resonated with you so far today, Sagittarius, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much, okay? Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. 
We have surprise. I don't know. Something about this situation could be surprising to you. Maybe you're surprised at the accuracy of the reading. Maybe someone wants to come in and surprise you. Maybe you want to make a surprise for someone. Okay, surprise someone. What else for Sagittarius? One, three, four. For the streets, you could be dealing with someone that is for the streets here, Sagittarius. Okay, if there is someone that like lies or cheats or they just are not good for you as a person, they for the streets. Okay, that can mean a lot of different things, but that's how I'm reading it. What else? You need to do the stay sober and challenge, okay? If you would like to quit smoking or quit drinking or quit a substance, okay? Or just better yourself as a person. This is a challenge that I created. It's on TikTok. You can follow my TikTok in the description box below. What else for Sagittarius today? One, two, three, four. We have look inward. Some of you are looking inward at this time or you're being guided to look inward, okay? What else? You have incompetent. You're dealing with someone that is incompetent, okay? Or someone feels like you are. What else for Sagittarius today? One, two, three, four. We have frustrated. You got a lot of cards out here. Yeah, look inward, incompetent, frustrated. Someone could be frustrated with you or you are frustrated with someone or just frustrated in general, maybe. What else? One, two, three, four. We have Capricorn. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or you might have Capricorn somewhere in your chart. Something about Capricorn significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. Drink more water. You're being guided to drink more water at this time, or some of you are already drinking more water. Okay. What else for Sagittarius today? One, two, three, four. We have date night. Some of you might be going on a date soon. Someone wants to take you on a date, or you want to take someone on a date. Something about date night is significant here. What else for Sagittarius today? One, two, three, four. We have no bueno. No bueno. Something not good. Okay. Something bad. <laughs> Uh, maybe the surprise that comes in is something that makes you look inwards. It's not a great surprise and you're dealing with someone that's incompetent or for the streets. What else for Sagittarius? We have pictures. I want to say someone could be reminiscing over, um, you know, over you, looking at pictures of you. Okay. Or you might have pictures with someone that you're reminiscing with. Something about pictures. What else? One, two, three, four. Are they running or are you? Some of you are in a twin flame connection, okay? One person is the chaser and the other person is the runner. So are they running or are you, okay? Who's the runner here? What else for Sagittarius? One, two, three, four. Is there something you can do about it right now? If yes, go ahead and do it. If not, then don't worry about it, okay? Worry about what you can focus on right now, okay? Let me get one more for Sagittarius today. We have earth enthusiasts. Some of you might be an earth enthusiast or you might be dealing with an earth enthusiast or something about earth enthusiasm is significant here. Congratulations if you are, I appreciate that. You guys are amazing. There's a challenge that I created on TikTok called get the bag challenge. It's where you pick up one grocery bag of trash every day for a year. It doesn't matter when you start. I also weigh the bag every single day. I'm on day number like what? Let's see what day number I'm on really quick. So that way I can show you. Today, I'm on day number 250 today, actually. So that's what's up. So we're getting close to a year mark for me. But yeah, do that if you're an earth enthusiast. Join the challenge. Use the hashtag. Hashtag get the bag challenge, all right? All right, Sagittarius. I think I might still have to do your monthly reading for the month of September. But if that is the case, you will either see it today or tomorrow. So be looking forward to that if I haven't done it. And if I have, then... Maybe I'll do another one, a bonus one for you, all right? If you'd like to get a free 20-minute reading from myself, this is what you can do. Go to the description box below, click on New Age Lifestyle Shop, get an order as long as it is 30 US dollars or more before shipping, then you can use a discount code that is SHRED SHIP, S-H-R-E-D-S-H-I-P. That will take off the shipping for you. That's more than the disc, the uh, ten percent. The, the uh, nah, 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 nah. that is more than the ten percent discount code that we were using. And take a picture of your order number and send it to me, or just forward it to my email down below. So that way, I know who to send the free twenty minute reading back to. Thank you all so much for the people that I have ordered and have gotten your free twenty minute reading. It is greatly appreciated, and of course, it does help out the channel and the shop. You guys are amazing. If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading outside of New Age Lifestyle Shop, you can still do that, but you get more bang for your buck whenever you get the order and the 20-minute reading, okay? My readings are a little bit more expensive outside of that, so. All right, Sagittarius, thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for the donations through Cash App, PayPal, and super thanks. You guys are amazing. Anything else you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. 
And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.